And you got a lot of people, man, that's wondering why Farnsworth Bentley, you know, why he hasn't came out and defended Diddy. You know, they was real cool at one point, you know, so. Well, I was there when Farnsworth Bentley got his actual name. How they came up with the name and everything. We were sitting in front of the uh, apartment building on 74th and Park Avenue. It was me, him, Tony DeNaro. Puff was upstairs. They was trying to figure out. He had became Puff, one of Puff's personal assistants. You understand? To make sure all sh Puff shit is there when we get ready to go. Everything that was supposed to be in order. That was Farnsworth Bentley's job. When Puff has to go to restaurants or places like that, you know, uh, he made sure everything was straight with that. You know what I'm saying? And he had another assistant too. Uh, but Farnsworth Bentley was his personal assistant, put out his clothes, told him what he should wear, all that, like a stylist and personal assistant all together. You know? So we was in front of the house, and um, this dude, Tony De Niro, he played guitar in that uh, Bad Boy for Life. The black dude, not the white guy, the black dude who played the guitar, that's Tony De Niro. I think he might be from California or something. So Tony De Niro was like, yo, we got to think of a name for you, man. And if you're going to be his personal assistant and uh, slash butler slash umbrella carrier, whatever you're going to do, you understand? We got to think of a name for you. We we're going to try to make you like Bentley or either uh, uh, Farnsworth or either Bentley. You got to be, you know, you got to have that kind of persona. You got to dress all the time, be neat in the whole nine yards. And then the dude, Derek, was playing with him like, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know how to do that. I could be over the top. You know, he was acting like that. You know what I'm saying? I could be over the top. So he was saying that. And uh, the dude, Tony De Niro, said, we got to figure out a name for you, man. It's got to be on the level of, you know, those characters. He said, he's gotta, you got to be like Fonsworth. You got to be like Bentley. He said, fuck it. We're just going to call you Fonsworth Bentley. And he said, I like it. And they start calling him that. His name Fonsworth Bentley. And I said, these motherfuckers, corny. You <laughs> like, I was... I was like, yo, believe this. But he was always right there, but not like at nighttime when we was at doing things, he was he wasn't he wasn't around, bro. He was only there when the cams was there and shit like that. You know, I don't know, you know, I don't know how much he was he could do. I don't I don't know if he would say anything, because he probably signed the ND a non-disclosure, and he don't want to say anything against Puff anyway because Puff got shit on him. And I ain't talk about no sexual shit you, or none of that shit. The nigga was stealing, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yo, bro, the nigga's a, yo, he got, he, <laughs> I don't want to put that on sticky fingers. That nigga, that nigga right there, bro, don't lay nothing down around him. You hear me? Don't lay nothing down around dude right there. Dog, Jennifer Lopez had these boots. They cost $5,000. I'm like, what kind of fucking boots cost $5,000? Now, you got to realize this is like in 2000, early 2000s. These boots cost $5,000. And because she was going to be out of, out of the country or something like that, she didn't have them come to her house down in the village because she would have never got it because they'd be stealing her stuff down there at our apartment. So she had them come to Puff House. She wanted these boots so bad. She was mad. We, you know, they was they looked through everything trying to find Jennifer boots because Puff had like a, you know, Puff, people used to just give him shit and send him shit from everywhere. So he had this room, this mail room in his house with numbers just that he never even opened. 
but I don't know how Farnsworth Bentley found that shit. But we went over there to his house and we found a lot of Jennifer shit and everybody else's shit that belonged to Puff. I guess, I guess Puff had too much stuff in the room and he was just keeping them for it. And you seen this with your own eyes? That's crazy, man. My own eyes, bro. We went to his apartment. He don't even seem like that type of dude, yo, but damn. Security. Security also we went over there, man. They had to do shit, bro. And that's why Puff had stopped messing with him. And then he goes get a show. Puff ain't say nothing. He went and got a show of how to be a, teaching thugs how to be the gentleman. I hope the first thing he taught them was that, don't steal! 